sit by your fire and watch the coal burn bright. Is there no story in those flames tonight? The sweat has dried upon the gleaming black, the sweat of men who toil with aching back, with ceaseless thud they carve and hack and hew to claim that precious gleaming rock for you. Incessant cough mid mounting swell of song, as double bent they work the face along, sore eyes, sore hands, the aching limbs proceed to rest earth's treasures for a nation's need. Where is our warmth? urge our indignant cries. Up through the tunnels dim the hewn rocks rise. There go the chosen blocks to warm your hearth. The rest, the slag, pursues another path. The ugly, barren filth flung from the pit must stay to mock the men who gathered it. The dustbin of the mountain vaults to grow, a mountain frowning on their vale below. The fathers break the coal, the tip grows high. Why do they pile this rubbish to the sky? The children laugh and chatter round the board. The chapels sound the loveliest family chord. Proud fathers watch them grow and hear them call. The mothers wave them proudly off to school. A roaring in the fog. The mountain shifts. The seeping slag tip oozes, rushes, drifts. Down bursts the avalanche. Oh, hurry, hurry, fly your precious lives. Oh, God, the slurry. The fatal hour has struck. Now all is still. The children clasped in death beneath the hill. Sore hands and frantic breath, the fathers dig and seek. With spade and hand thrust back the mud, nor speak the nightmare thoughts within each painful breast. A hope, perhaps. A fading hope at best. Against this filthy ooze, toil, dig, hope, pray. Their human treasure rests in blackened clay. A mudded page held in a lifeless hand. A lesson ended few can understand. Perhaps the coal burns brightly in your grate, a flickering sequel of a tragic fate. For those who dug have trod their bitter path. For them, no laughing children round their hearth. Look in those flames and picture, if you can, the heartbreak of the men of Aberfan. Look hard and learn from valiant men who live to bear harsh burdens that we thoughtless give. See that you learn before it is too late the quality of men who serve your great. See how their eyes survey the mountain rim. The valley echoes to their soul-searched hymn. With purpose stronger than the rock they hew, they build their village better than they knew. And ere the mud is cleared to shape their plan, a baby's cry is heard in Abafan. And I suppose the crocus blooms beside the lake, and birds are singing, and magic sunset tints light up the walls at Tolleton. Oft times we trod the paths, flood washed with mud, fresh laid and clinging, to listen to the rushing waters after rain, to watch the foam swirl onward, gaily dancing, and broken branch so swiftly swept downstream. 
last autumn's leaves amid the grass fresh springing, the rushes rustled in the playing of the breeze. The silent trees that count the years yet so no ageing, all these remain with me from Tolleton. And I still see the gateway by the wood, where once the squire rode through in the swaying chaise, and once I thought I saw him passing to a phantom tableau rattling o'er the stones, the panting of the horse, the harness jingle, a rumble on the hill, and they had gone. But it was all imagination. Twas many years ago in Tolleton. The stables sound no more with oof on stone, nor quick-eyed groom flings out a sharp command. The birds are nesting in the crumbling loft, that still shows traces of the seed it stored, how soft falls night or Tolleton. There is a tree with outspread branches standing guard before the entrance hall. It never bears a leaf, but shows perpetual mourning for a vanished age at Tolleton. Amid the mists of passing years are tales forgotten. We know not what took place beneath that roof, for babes in youth grew old, and then another generation lived through their years and left another in their stead. Down long corridors there must have tripped the hurried footsteps of betrothed maid, laughter and sighing, kindness and prying, slamming of doors and snatches of song, wonder and joy and costly forgiving, heartbroken sobs and long bitter sigh, those all have sounded through the rooms at Tolleton, and now it stands in silence, lawns untended, weeds and mosses creep across the paths, the lily pond is broken down and leaking, and ivy clings more tightly to the walls, no more the ballroom echoes with the dancing, no more the bugle calls the huntsman home. Those days are past, there can be no returning. Life changes with the years and whims of man, but still the spring breaks every year in all its beauty, and birds salute it with triumphant song. There can be nothing lost whatever vanish, while memories remain.